Madness has now wound its way through Manhattan. The Little Apple is going to host a leg of the women's NCAA tournament for the first time now in seven years. 13's Joseph Robin reports on the tournament's impact. The K-State women's basketball team will host the first and second rounds at Bramlage this coming weekend. To have an NCAA regional is a big deal. And for us to be able to host it for the first time in a few years, uh, again, just a credit to everybody. It's a great way to expose Manhattan. As you know, when people come here, they realize how beautiful it is, uh, how friendly of a community it is. And so we're going to have some new teams come in for the first time and then also really get to show off our facilities. Many businesses around the community are excited to host and have new visitors stop by to enjoy the city and what they have to offer. Just their success has done a lot for businesses around this town. and and bringing people in. It gets, gets K-State fans excited to watch women's basketball. Um, and so you see a lot, we see a lot of fans coming in for the games and this weekend is, is gonna be great. It's hopefully, hopefully getting close to a sellout and um, that'll really, really bring a lot of good fans in. It's also a bonus, you know, for the, for the community. You know, it's an extra, an extra game, you know, an extra uh, big weekend, we hope. Uh, obviously, if they keep winning, they play again on Sunday. So, you know, it, it can make it a whole weekend for us uh, with watching basketball. It's wonderful to see folks from other communities sit down even at breakfast and get to know them a little bit, get their impressions of the community. And uh, nine times out of ten, if not ten out of ten, uh, they really have enjoyed their time in Manhattan. And uh, then we obviously want to point Point out some of the great things to see why they're here. In Manhattan, Joseph Robin, 13 News. And the Wildcats host Portland on Friday at 3.30 in Bramlage. And Manhattan residents.